Hello, YouTube. I want to play a game. For years, you sat by and wondered how to make a jigsaw voice. Well, tonight, I will show you how. Hey, how's it going? We're going to go ahead and we're going to use Audacity to make our voice sound like jigsaw. If you've seen my previous tutorial, it was really bad. It was the very first video I ever did. I'm going to redo it. I'm finally redoing it. Today's that day. So let's go ahead and let's open Audacity. It's free for Mac, Windows, and Linux. So it doesn't matter what you're, what you're on, you can go ahead and download it for free. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to record your voice. Now keep in mind the way Jigsaw used to, would speak in the movies, he, you know, he didn't have the most happy, bouncy sounding voice, I guess, whatever. He sounded like he was in pain and he sounded very dark. So try and replicate that with your voice the closest that you can. We're not all voice actors, I'm not a voice actor, but do the best you can. Try and make it sound as close to his voice as you can from the beginning because it makes your job a lot easier. Uh, from here. <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and record a typical jigsaw line. Hello YouTube. I want to play a game. For years you sat by and wondered how to make a jigsaw voice. Well tonight I will show you how. Alright. That sounds good. So You'll notice that I left a little bit of space in there. You want to have at least a second or two of empty space in there. What you want, because what you want to do is you want to clean it up first. So we're going to start off and we're going to select a little bit of area right here, a space right here. Let's listen to it really quickly. Hello, YouTube. I want to play a game. So even if I select this area right here, you'll notice that it's not completely silent. So you want to go to a, select a little bit of section empty space like that go to effect noise reduction and say get noise profile now double click select everything go to effect noise reduction again and just say okay now you notice it's a lot cleaner all those the little lines the little waves there all got much smaller which means it should be silent right there so I'm gonna go ahead and select and delete some space right there at the beginning because I don't need all that space same thing with the end so I'm going to play it back again, and you should hear it's a little bit cleaner. Hello, YouTube. I want to play a game. For years, you sat. Now, there's a little click right here. It's probably in my my old mouth. I don't exactly want it. It's not a big deal, but I don't want it. So if you ever come across stuff like that that's kind of mixed in here, you can select it. You can select it and delete it. It's going to adjust every shift everything over. But if you don't want to mess with your timeline, you don't want to mess with your timing, Select it, go to Generate Silence, just click OK. It just puts in some silence right there. Hello, YouTube. I want to play a game. Now, the volume is a little bit low, so I'm going to select everything, go to Effect, Normalize, just click OK. It's going to usually be negative one decibels. Just go ahead and click OK. It doesn't look like it did much, but just in case. So now I'm going to want two of these tracks. So I'm going to go ahead and just say, go to Edit and Duplicate. So now I've got two. So what you're going to do is you're going to have two different values. You're going to sh change the pitch of each track a little bit differently, and they're going to be overlapped on top of each other. So we're going to go to this top one first. We're going to go to Effect, Change Pitch, and this is going to depend on your voice. If, if I found for me, I changed the percent to negative 20%, and that works great. If you've got a deeper voice than me, you may not need to change it as much. So maybe try negative 16, see how that works. If you've got a higher pitch voice than me, maybe do negative 24 or something like that. Just play around with the settings and see, see what works best for you. So I'm going to go ahead and go to negative 20 for this one. Let's go ahead and see how that sounds so far. Hello, YouTube. I want to play a game. So it sounds very alien. If you like that effect, you can go ahead and use it. it sounds kind of cool, I think. But I still recommend changing this bottom one a little bit because that one is actually your natural sounding voice. And the whole point of this is to not sound like you. It's to sound like Jigsaw or to disguise your voice. But don't do not do it this for anything bad. It's just for fun, okay? Don't, don't, don't be bad with this. Be good. I, I trust you. Probably. So let's go ahead and change this bottom one. 
double click it, say change pitch. Now, I changed the top one to negative 20. Whatever you change the bottom one to, you want to keep it 6% difference. So I'm going to change this one to negative 26. It depends on what you change your top one to. If you changed it to negative 22, then you're going to change the bottom one to negative 28. It's just, just keep the difference between the two 6%, if that makes sense. If it doesn't, get a calculator. So the top one was negative 20. Bottom one is going to be negative 26 for me, because that sounds good for me, for my voice. So let's hear what those sound like together. Hello, YouTube. I want to play a game for you. I also want to get rid of just a little bit of spacing in there because it's a little too much. All right, so that sounds pretty good so far, but we can add a little bit of a, a phaser effect and make it sound just a little bit better. So what we're going to do is we're going to select the top one. We're going to go to effect, phaser. I usually just use these default settings. What this does is it's going to alternate the sound between left and right channels. It's going to make a little bit more sense when we get on, on to the next one, but here's what this sounds like. Hello, YouTube. I want to play a game. For years, you sat by and wondered how... If you're listening with, your, with stereo headphones or really good speakers, you'll notice that it's kind of alternating, going back and forth between left and right channels. So we're going to go ahead and hit, click OK. We're going to do the same thing with the bottom track, but first we're going to reverse it. Go to Effect, Reverse. So now you're like, what? Now the audio is backwards. It doesn't make sense. It's going to make sense. It's going to make sense. So we reversed it. Now we're going to go to Effect, Phaser. We're going to do the same phaser. Effect, Reverse again. So what we did is we reversed it, added the same phaser, reversed it back. So now the phaser is backwards. And there's another way of doing this using the phaser settings, but this is, this is much faster than playing with the phaser settings. So now if you look, if you look this area right here is where you really notice it. You'll see that the right channel on this track is louder than the left channel. And on this track, the left channel is louder than the right channel. But doesn't that just cancel? Don't they just cancel each other out? Volume-wise, yes, they cancel each other out. It gets louder over here as it gets quieter over here. But because they're both different pitches, the pitch, which pitch sounds more dominant in each ear is alternating. So it's as you listen to it now, it's going to sound like the pitch is slightly changing back and forth, but it's really not. It's just the volume and it's just kind of phasing between the different pitches. So here's what that sounds like now. Hello, YouTube. I want to play a game. For years, you sat by and wondered how to make a jigsaw voice. Well, tonight, I will show you how. So from there, all you got to do is go ahead and export this, go to File export audio I'm going to overwrite my previous test okay your tracks will be mixed down to two stereo channels and exported file which is perfect because we want this to be on top of this and this is going to be on top of that it's going to be a big interlocking mess not really interlocking I just I said that's this thing I said in the old video I'm just saying it again making fun of myself so let's hear that one more time why not Hello, YouTube. I want to play a game. For years, you sat by and wondered how to make a jigsaw voice. Well, tonight, I will show you how. So there you have it. If you found this thing useful at all, you thought it was cool, interesting, useful, go ahead and give it a like, a share. Go ahead and subscribe. If you want, go ahead and click on that and subscribe to my channel. Let me, if you use this to make anything, send me a link. I'd like to see what you do with it and what, what came of it. What did, what did you do with it? Also, if you have access to Adobe Audition, go ahead and check out that video and figure out how to make Jigsaw voice using Adobe Audition, which sounds even better than Audacity. But if you don't have it, this sounds great. It's using free software. It sounds great. If you have access to Adobe Audition, Go ahead on over there, check that one out. Thanks for watching.